Hi guys, Julie D. This week's video is not an on-the-road update like I had hoped it would be, giving you a sneak peek preview of some of the stages from the USPSA Single Stack and Revolver National Championships because unfortunately I have injured my back and I need to stay home and let it heal up so that I don't do anything to screw things up for the rest of the season. So this makes me particularly sad because I have been training really hard in Single Stack. It's one of my favorite nationals to shoot because it's kind of old school and it reminds me of when I started in the sport. And if you've been following my Facebook and Instagram, you know that I have totally scored an awesome Smith & Wesson Performance Center 929, that I have had some special Apex Tactical Lovin' Race Ready Revo uh, work done to it. And so I thought for this video, because I can't be out there showing you the good stuff from the range, I thought I'd bring it inside my office and show you my USPSA revolver gear. Now let's start with the gun. This is, of course, a Smith & Wesson Performance Center Model 929 Jerry Michelik Edition. And uh, basically, Jerry got with the folks at Performance Center and designed the revolver exactly the way he likes it. You might know a thing or two. <laughs> What makes this revolver so ideal in USPSA competition is that it does come straight from the Performance Center, cut for moon clips with a titanium cylinder, which helps make the trigger nice and light and provides for that fast action. It also comes with a removable compensator, and that you'll have to take off if you plan to compete in USPSA. My Performance Center Model 929 has had a little bit of extra work done to it. Of course, that compensator has been removed, and I've had Apex go ahead and install a gold bead front sight, which I like a lot. Next up, they went ahead and added some whole custom grips that I've had made for my Model 627. They went ahead and put them on this gun, and I really like them because they're very, very slim. They're nice and smooth, which makes it easy for me to get that perfect grip every single time. And these also happen to have a big butt. And this is really useful in case you have to go prone, you can set the gun right down. You've got a really solid platform. Now, they also added a Hogue cylinder release here, which makes it super easy to, I refer to it as a gas pedal, honestly. It's a gas pedal for reloads because it's really easy to reach and push and you can get that fast reload every single time. Now, the 929 also comes cut for moon clips, but Apex went ahead and chamfered out these cylinder holes a little bit more. And chamfering just means they kind of hog it out to kind of open it up to make it even more easier to drop in those clips just like so. Now where Apex really stands out is their trigger work. From their MMP and SDVE drop-in kits to of course their revolver action jobs, this is where they really shine. And they're able, with, in combination with this titanium cylinder, their hammer and firing pin, they're able to get an action that's super, super light, yet still has a full ignition hit on the back of the primer. And it is, Oh, it's just so smooth and light. I can't even put into words how nice this trigger is. Now I bring up ignition concerns because a lot of revolver shooters out there reload their own ammunition. And when they do that, they have to make sure they seat their primers really deep in order to get that positive hit on the back of the primer with a firing pin. But with the way the Apex hammer and firing pin in combination with the cylinder and their action job works, you can use your standard American Eagle Federal Premium 147 grain ammo right out of the box and get ignition every single time. And that is huge for me because this particular round is like my one round to rule them. I use it in revolver, I use it in single stack, and I use it in production with my MMPs. It is my go-to load out there. I am using Hearth Co. Moon Clips, and these are stiff, but they still allow for good reloads, and I find that they work really well. They also work well because of my rig setup. I have a speedy rack here that has magnetic tops, which make it super easy to just go ahead and throw one of these on there and you can jump around, it's not coming off, <laughs> which is really, really good, but it's still right there for easy access for those fast reloads. And this is of course mounted on an ELS belt right here. And then I have attached a Safari Land 002 holster onto a USPSA kit, and that allows me to drop and angle it just the way I like it for a fast drop. 
Another purchase I've made is I went ahead and bought some dummy rounds from Brownells and I really like these because they're black and it allows me to practice my reloads with dummy clips and some spent cases very easily. And these don't look anything like my live rounds, which is very important in case they somehow get mixed up in my shooting bag. Always remember that when you're dry firing inside that you wanna make sure that you have no live ammunition anywhere near you. Now one final investment that you'll wanna make is a BMT Mooner. And it's just a two piece little device here but it allows you to reload and unload your moon clips not only quickly but very easily and make sure that you don't bend them because if you bend one of those moons, the chances of you being able to reload it greatly decrease. Also in this week's video, I've partnered with Apex Tactical Specialties to have a free t-shirt and M&P Armors block an MMP knife, and my book, Shoot, Your Guide to Shooting and Competition for One Lucky Winner. All you have to do is comment below in my YouTube video comments here. <laughs> and let me know whether you like this video, let me know what you think of my gear, tell me how you've been, it doesn't matter. Any comment counts and I will randomly select one winner and announce it on next week's video. So until next time, be safe and have fun.